What you're about to see is about to be three years old. I got this guitar in January of 2018. I'm editing this video in November of 2020. So a few months and then my third anniversary of this guitar. There is a what's that then coming up because this is just the beginning of the story and a lot has happened since then. But yeah, this is the day I got this guitar. Um, I didn't edit it three years ago because my computer at the time didn't like the videos on my phone. So yeah, I edited it today and it's come out pretty good. But yeah, what's that then coming up soon at some point about more on this guitar. Thank you very much. I'll spend <laughs> three. Hey, so I'm doing a project right now. Remember this? It's from ages ago. Um, people who have me on Facebook will know what that is. This is a Phil X style guitar with his signature pickup and fan grill configuration. Got that for 30 quid when I was a wee babby and made it, really happy with it. However, this body is terrible. It's really bad. Had the neck completely remade, took it to a guy to get refretted. Simon Bamber did an amazing job. The whole thing just fell apart on him because it's actually a Nevada guitar. A step up from rock bone, would you believe it? So we had to completely redo the frets, put the inlays back in, the binding, had to reinstall that, made a bone nut, the rubber tuners on it. Pretty good, however, the body's just unplayable, it's not very good. Bass wood, really lightweight, always got that tune. It's not great. So, I found something on Facebook for 150, which is this ESP ESP 200 FM um, Viper model, which is exactly the same guitar. Well, that's no, not at all. Philex uses a, uh, a Viper. So, Finding this at the price I found it, I thought I'll grab that, rehouse everything in this guitar into this one, and uh, you know, hopefully by the end of it we'll have a decent playing guitar um, that I can just travel with when I'm going back to Kent or abroad or whatever. Because I need a guitar I can travel with that isn't like a gig guitar. And maybe I'll use this tomorrow at the camera. Who knows? Let's keep updated. Oh yeah. So here's some close-ups of the guitar. Um, you know, it's a veneer top, two-piece veneer, active pickups, I think. They could be plastic covers, but it's quite filthy. Either way, the shape of the body, I'm not too fond of it. I don't like how this bit sags like it does, and it, like, raises. It's like it's, it's, like it's an SG that someone's just, like, drooped down. Um, and I'm not really too, I'm not really digging that too much, but the finish is really nice. I think I'm gonna do it. I'll, I'll just like stick a bomb it kind of thing. And this is what we did last time. So this was like a regular SG layout um, that you'd find on a typical jig type. Uh, there was like four knobs here and there was a switch here. I took out the switch, took out the two knobs here, volume, that's tone. So you know, it works and we filled it in with these uh, hef hefty bolts. There was a scratch plate we put in with carpet tacks and this uh, this filing away here came very later on when I played my friend's like, actual Gibson SG and I thought, oh, this body is completely wrong. And this is the best I could do with a body thickness like that. This is this is this here is the problem. That neck join is clunky. When you compare it to this one, it's just so much smoother, like a lot more access. It's a shame really, because this neck's really good. I'm thinking about keeping the neck, because like I've always got projects on the go, and this neck is very well constructed. It's just a shame about this body though. But yeah, we will take this, we'll take that, and we might just take these as it's already wired up properly, and just place them in here. We'll see how the cables are, because that's obviously a lot shorter than these. But yeah, let's keep going. So here it is on the bench, it's last days. Um, yeah, this is a trussel cover I made, I literally took like a file. Grinded in my initials. Can't even see what it's supposed to say. And this is a really crude, uh, basically wood saw of a, of a G-type headstock. But shh, shh, shh. 
But yeah, so we're going to basically disconnect this pickup from these pots and see what the length is like. And uh, we'll go from there. We're also going to remove this little thing. So yeah, let's, let's, keep, let's keep it updated. Okay, so just, just open the back door, and what I can see is that we don't really have a lot of, uh, lot of stretch in these cables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect these joints, and I'm going to keep these pots, because uh, the guy who did the job for me said these are really good. And I do believe them, because they are really good, it's just a bit of drowning out. What can you tell me? Is this where you thought you'd be? Okay, so just for my own reference, we're going to have a look at what we have here. We'll get a good look at that, because that's going to have to be repeated. A disconnect pick up with this super hot soldering iron. No more just got to jump those hurdles. Let's go one more time around. Once more, once more around the sun. Around the sun. Gutted with electronics, I've kept them in a pot here. I'm going to keep the tone pot um, and maybe the volume the jack. This jack, so I can, I can keep that with the one that's in there just to keep it simple. Um, yeah, I would need to reuse the wine that we have in there because they'll be longer pieces because these are tiny. And we get to think about now it's free and then we'll take a fan girl and then we'll get straight on to the MCP. Here with the bathroom now, it's on the table, everything's completely taken off this, you know, polish the frets up, hydrate the fretboard, give it a clean after I'm done with the wiring. But here's the pickup, all free, all free and nice, and uh, it's number 101 if anyone's interested. If it gets uh, steam because it's Bon Jovi stuff now. But yeah, love this pickup, shame about the last guitar, but this should get a lot more use because it was a bit pricey with all the shipping in that and being a handmade pickup from Canada. But I love this pickup from the hopefully use it. So here we have the LTD's wiring. Figured out why the wiring looks so weird. Yeah. Okay, all the pots are out. Everything's out and taped down. That there is the output wire, and that there is the ground. And these two wires here are from the pickups, completely from the pots, so I can resell those. Plenty of length on there, and uh, there's shielding paint in there, so I don't have to worry about grounding too much. So that's happy days for me. Let's get these pickups out and let's sort this out. Get the fan grill on there, get the pickup in, and then we can start to solder and clean this fretboard. It's not too dirty, to be honest, but I just really like clean frets. What can you do? Here it is, completely gutted. Now, as a preview, I haven't even seen this myself yet. Let's see what this looks like. Oh no! 
for bang. That is going to look pretty cool, I think. Well, come on down here. We'll oh, get you yeah. some I like deep fried, fried whatever the okay. hell you want to bring along. Just for $5.99. A little we'll bit ahead now. Um, I kind of got sucked in. I've taken out the pickups, taken out the pots, everything like that. I've put the pickup back in and I've put the fan grill on, painted on the inside. But when I come to put the electronics on, I find that this bushing is too thick. So we're going to drill that now. So I'll be right back. Just quick, I'm on 2%. The volume pots are in. They're not soldered yet, but it's going to be real good. Everything's in here. It looks pretty. The fan grill's in. I've painted that black a little bit with like literally the metallic puffy paint. Um, yep, uh, pickups in. I made sure the pickup ring was in the right way because I didn't have that last time. Uh, the bridge isn't in yet because it keeps on falling out. It's basically just flopped from the last time from the setup. Insulation was perfect, so I'm not going to touch that at all. Now it's time to get the soldering iron like ready and look at the wiring diagram again before I completely mess this up. Let's get to it. Soldering's all done. That's a tidy job, isn't it? That's because I didn't do it. Had a little bit of an issue um, with this particular area. As you can see, it's a little bit uh, scruff. So, you know, I had assistance from my pa, which is great, especially on his birthday today. So, um, yeah, I'm going to close this all up, put some... Uh, oh, there, I'm going to clean the fretboard. And then we're going to put some strings on it before we get too excited. How's it going? It's all done. Yeah, we've got the uh, pop string, everything's all sealed up in your back. And, um, no, everything's basically done. I'm just going to put some strings on. I'm going to index here. It's nothing but the best. Mm-mm-mm. Overpriced. Unpredictable. The best. So I'm really excited now. Everything works. Test it. all done we are all done and this is what's left of the old Batman guitar you know it's pretty uh, it's a sad sight really but you know it just had to happen really I spent most money on the pickup and stuff good Grovers there will take off neck plate will keep strap buttons very good strap buttons will keep those but as a memoriam also I'll figure out a way to pry this fretboard off because it is an insane job. Look at that. So I'll, I'll try and keep that. But this is my uh, memento towards the guitar. This can be in an office or something. But yeah, that's that. And here is the finished product. I was thinking about like doing a lot with this paint job, like burning it and like dashing it up, but I'll be honest, this actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. And these, like, stock stuff looks awesome. This is the fan grill from my actual computer, not the one I used last time, because uh, I kind of broke one of the ends. Oh, paint the inside, because I wanted it to not be red and, like, veneery. And uh, this is the pickup, it looks awesome. It's all tested and stuff. I'll give you a little sound check through a rolling cube just quickly before we take it to the gig tomorrow. That's right. And we've got a little silver fish at the end because I haven't cut off the stringers yet. That's how fresh these strings are. Let's plug it in and have a listen. the gig with this last night but I only played like 10 minutes with it because there's something wrong with the input um, taking up some cutting down fading out and then stopping to come back again weird one sounds good sounds really good but I can't move around with it so it's probably something to do with the jack prong that touches the connector but I'll have a look at the soldering at some point and revisit that and then I'll update you bye here's what actually happened the gig at the cat and wheel, I played this and this, 
I really enjoyed using this for the first few songs, but then the signal started cutting out and I had to be in a position to actually get it to work. So I was just making do as much as I could. And then what happened was then there was just no signal at all. Like, at all, it would fade in and out, it would just crackle. And I was really worried, it wasn't the jack. Turns out I hadn't fully soldered on one of the wires correctly. I think one of them maybe had fallen off because it was probably a dodgy joint. But yeah, I took it to a friend of mine and then he just put it back on and then it's been fine ever since. So yeah, that's what happened. I was an idiot and I didn't finish the video because of it. But it's all done and if you like what you see here, then uh, keep watching for a what's that then on this specific guitar. The story develops and I'm really happy about how it's gone on. I'll see you soon.